IT audit day. As an IT asset manager, you're feeling confident. Everything is under control. Then bam, you stumble upon 50 unlicensed software installations. What could have helped you avoid this situation? An effective asset management practice. Before we learn how you can master asset management, let's first cover the basics of IT asset management. IT Asset Management, also known as ITAM, is all about managing IT assets throughout their life cycle. It involves cataloging and tracking assets, as well as maintaining, upgrading, or disposing of them whenever required. This way, organizations have a grasp of every IT asset, ensure asset usage and budgets are optimized, avoid redundant purchases, and reduce potential security risks. Let's see how you can achieve this and more with Manage Engine Service Desk Plus IT Asset Management capabilities. Meet Anderson, the IT Asset Manager who is responsible for tracking and managing all the assets in his organization. Thanks to Service Desk Plus, which helps him maintain an accurate asset inventory and provides him with complete visibility of his organization's asset estate, he can efficiently administer them. Want to know how Anderson uses Service Dust Plus to keep tabs on his organization's assets? Let me walk you through the process. Anderson begins by adding a probe to perform network scanning to discover all the macOS or Linux devices and domain scanning to discover all the Windows devices available in his organization. He can also schedule the scan to run periodically to detect changes in the number and type of these devices. To discover the remote devices, he executes independent scan scripts on individual remote computers. Service Desk Plus also integrates with Microsoft SCCM to directly import asset data. When new assets are received, Anderson generates and assigns unique barcodes and QR codes for them and scans these so the components are added directly to the asset database using Service Desk Plus. How quick and easy is that? Scanning in Service Desk Plus enables you to manage licenses precisely through license agreement and compliance management. Once discovery and scanning is complete, Anderson then classifies these assets into different categories, groups, and items, starting with separating IT from non-IT assets for easy identification. This granular out-of-the-box classification organizes the assets, making asset tracking a breeze. After creating an accurate repository of assets, Anderson employs unique workflows for various product types using Service Desk Plus. This way, he can manage different IT assets from procurement and up to disposal by automating actions like sending notifications or assigning assets to employees. Speaking of assigning assets, he saves time and effort by using Service Desk Plus Asset Auto Assign feature to allocate assets to employees automatically. He can also choose to exclude certain IT assets from being auto assigned. Anderson's organization issues laptops to employees for temporary usage. He can use the asset loan registry to set loan expiry dates and issue alerts when loans will expire. He can also choose to extend or terminate the load as needed. To gauge progress against ITAM goals, Anderson takes advantage of the graphical asset dashboard in Service Desk Plus to achieve full visibility into asset states, check for license compliance, and gain insights on other key metrics. Finally, to document and make data-driven decisions, Anderson relies on some of the out-of-the-box reports and a few custom reports which he built by himself using the solution's helpful resources. Service Desk Plus has truly helped Anderson ensure his organization stays audit ready. Want to learn how you can as well? 
visit servicedeskplus.com and follow our YouTube channel.